Salve. Let's play some Total War Rome Remastered. And we're... <clears throat> or not. Give me a second. <coughs> mm. And we're back. I hope. I feel like I had something stuck in my throat. I apologize. That is, um, that is one hell of a way to begin an episode. So, continuing pretty much right where we left off last time, I am going to grab this ship to send the diplomat down there on a... Oh, well, an adventurous journey. I've also moved this navy up and down and realized that there is the town of Kosura right there, or the small island outpost, I guess, of the Carthaginians, which lies between me and Carthage proper. So that is going to be the next target for Julianos. He continues his campaign um, and, and his crusade, really, against the Carthaginians. Also, a slightly more powerful navy this time round. And yeah, that's about it. As far as... Move that around. As far as Quintus Scipio is concerned, he's going to... Leave Lilibeum, or is he? No, he's going to stay in Lilibeum. And pretty much just await his army, which is coming, hopefully soon. Um, okay, that, that was an interesting glitch. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, it was with the uh, unit card. They overlapped one another for a split second there. Actually, not for a split second, they overlapped until I moved them away from each other. That was funny, I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, but hey, we discover new bugs every day here, apparently. it's uh, I've, I've done more to break this game in this Let's Play than I've probably done in, in all my others combined. And I, it's not like I'm purposefully doing it, it's just happening. But hey... All right, so that's the recruitment done, I think. These guys are definitely heading north towards Taurus, and if they take it, well, they take it. What can I do about it? If not, uh, good. The Bruti I are probably confused as to where they're supposed to go because I've taken this town from them, or from taking this town, and now they're kind of lost, I guess. I don't know if they're at war with Taurus or not. They should be. Um, but I'm not sure. Anywho. Is it is it this? Greetings. A most right, generous proposal. And the Avernia down there. Alright, end turn, please. There we go. Like I said, we're gonna move a little bit faster now, although it's gonna be a slightly shorter episode today. Um, aiming for around 30-35 minutes or so, because I have something to do in about, well, exactly that much time. So, uh, yeah, not the 45 minutes to an hour long one that we've previously had. <clears throat> oh, speaking of, um, some of the... Speaking of, like, diplomacy that I was doing over here and, and map information, I'm not... Uh, have to do, but yeah. Greetings. Trade rights map information. There you go. So, speaking of trade rights map information and diplomacy, um, a most generous proposal. The, some of the uh, like banners and emblems and stuff like that up here from Greetings. the barbarians and really from all actions in general might seem a bit a familiar to you. Proposal. Um, that's because they're taken from all manner of sources, right? Um, some of them come from... Do I have a... Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, some of them come from Rome too. Some of them come from other places. It's, yeah. Loads of stuff happening there. Right, the Senate. Uh, current standing in the Senate. Let's see. Currently... This is the standing with the Senate. This is the standing with the people. Standing with the people is his poor. I mean, we are the Scipii. It makes sense. Standing with the Senate, though, is better than anyone else. Okay. Okay. 
Not something to generally brag about, but... It is true, like the, uh... Graph shows, then... Uh, you know, might I be so bold as to ask that we be given... Something? <laughs> anything, really, for uh, our faithful service to the... Empire and... All that good stuff. Like, definitely deserved it, right? 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 Huh. Fleet ready. Off the boat. Sir, maybe, the maybe fleet. not. Um, one thing I really dislike about this game, it keeps moving your units around. This is how I want them. If we attack, they're going to go back to the front. Um, which pretty much makes it so I can't auto-resolve the Battle of Kasura. Um, I'm going to take way more casualties than I need to. And as a result, I really don't want to auto-resolve this. That said, though, I'm now blockading the Fourth of Carthage. You can't see it, but I'm holding up a middle finger to the Carthaginians. Uh-huh. Take that. Of course, though, I am in a no position to attack Carthage proper, mainly because they probably have incredibly massive armies just lying around waiting for me. Um, that's one region. The VM already taken by the Julii, look at that. Um, that's one reason. The other reason is... I don't... Well, actually, that's, that's kind of the main reason, isn't it? Um, the, the other one is, I guess, I can't really expand in North Africa due to my limited number of armies and stuff, and I have other things to do, like betray my allies over here. Um, just don't tell them I said that out loud. So I'm going to need a few armies to land down here and start taking stuff over. Plus, if I'm going to besiege Carthaginian towns, well, for some of these around the edges over here, I don't need uh, siege equipment. But for Carthage proper, I will definitely need siege equipment. And, uh, yeah, Hasdurbal Kano also has elephants. So I really really do not want to pick a fight with his elephants. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I, I said I can't do this, and I ideally wouldn't, because the Velites took way more damage than necessary. But it's fine, I guess. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we're going to stay... So let's go this way. We're going to stay one turn in Kasura, and then we are leaving or Sardinia and Corsica, uh, which is kind of the small, I guess, other reason why I don't want to um, attack North Africa immediately. I want to get rid of their island holdings over here, and that will allow me to build up a bigger navy and actually control the fighting somewhat, um, control their movement and so on and so forth, which will be very beneficial for uh, well, everyone involved, really. Except the Carthaginians, but that goes without saying, I assume. Um, I have time, so I might as well put in... Actually, no, I don't. Yeah. All right, that'll do, though. And we have one ballista and some archers. We're sailing those straight to Lilibaeum. Gathering a second legion there. Is there anything else I want in Lily Bayum? I think I would like two units of Italian spearmen. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. Right, other than that, I'm happy to... Yeah, there you go. The Mamertines are actually attacking Taurus. That's okay. Better them than the Brutii, because them I can backstab relatively quickly and uh, not have to worry about it. Yeah. In fact, I like that. If their main army is going to be over there fighting against common enemy, I can backstab them pretty much immediately after this. And uh, and I will. Um, I'm not going to be happy about it. I hate sort of um, not really becoming the, the what I hate most. I, I guess kind of, right, in, in, in some sense. Kind of becoming my own worst enemy. 
Um, or just like my own worst enemy. In that... I hate the, those random betrayals for no reason. When you have a great reputation with them and you've been staunch allies and you're not even in their way. Like, you could argue that now the Mammothines are kind of in the way. They've outlived their usefulness. They were there to distract the Carthaginians. They did just that and now, you know... It's time to absorb them into the Empire or whatever. Fine. Um, but in certain other situations, you're not even, like, in their way or anything, and they still backstab you. And I hate doing that, but this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm, I'm going to dislike it, but I'm still going to do it, you know? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, how do I fix this? I think I know how to fix this. Select the Navy. No, select the Navy. Okay, I'll select it like this. You select the Navy and you move it. And then you can do this. Yeah, it's it's a bug, don't, don't ask. It's a fairly nasty bug, matter of fact. Yeah. Oh, I will destroy this shrine. Uh, consider it, you know, military management or whatever. And put a shrine to Saturn there. And we're off to Sardinia. As for this place, still order managing everything, but just to add that temple there uh, for good measure. Okay, is the Navy on its way? Yeah, it is, and I think that's about it. Coming of age for Aulus, Aulus, whatever, Scipio. And then agent detected and two towns have expanded. Okay, Aulus Scipio, he is going to be a governor. Much like, I'm assuming, his father. Um... Okay, great. Why don't you head down to Regium? And you can become the governor of Regium. We have a governor of Croton already. He was good at governing stuff. Um, Gaius Scipio is going to be pretty much the governor of all of Sicily. And we do need a governor of Regium. Definitely. So, there you go. I'm leaving the AI with 17,000 gold to spend on stuff. I really hope it starts building the governor buildings and all of that stuff, but it's been relatively all right with construction thus far, so I can't really complain all that much. Greetings. A most generous proposal. Okay. But yeah, I've also noticed that, um, at least in MV mod, um, the AI tends to have very, or the the Roman AI for the three families tends to have a very specific sort of direction they go in every time. And by every time, I mean in the few test runs that I that I tried this out and just spammed the end turn button to see what they do a little bit, um, and some other. Testing that I've done for mods, compatibility, and, and so on and so forth. Confidence per year, recruitable generals, etc., etc., that all had to be um, manually tweaked, let's say, because, uh, well, if you just download the recruitable generals mod, it won't work um, because it uses a separate file that uh, the game will recognize. So, yeah. You need to manually copy the mod. The modded text, if that makes any sense, from recruitable generals into MV, which is fairly simple to do, but yeah, just uh, be quick. Our patience is limited. Yeah, definitely not gonna accept peace from me anytime soon. However, I can go through the desert and look for trading partners further out east. Okay. So, Siege of Corallus next, right? Again, just two garrison units, nothing important, nothing... 
you know, no big deal, etc, etc. But, oh, we do also have the Equites from over here. I need to raid those. Nearly forgot about them. And I think we're about ready to uh, continue. Is there, is there a plague in Taurus as well? There is, isn't there? That could actually be amazing because the Mamertines are about to capture the city. They go in, their army contracts the plague, and they start dying without me actually having to fight them. Wonderful is what it is. Um, but we're going to need a diplomat to actually formally break the alliance with them first. Because I do want to do that before I declare war. Because I have a shred of dignity. Yeah. At least that's what I like to think. And the specific um, directions the the AI families tend to go, I've noticed, is... Dear friend. Mm, no, no, thank I'm you. I'm not paying for an alliance with a nation I'm going to declare war on eventually. Um, so the, the direction they tend to go is the Brutii tend to take over... The islands around modern-day Montenegro, Croatia, and Albania, sort of this coastal region here, and then they make a beeline for, for Pella and Byzantion. The Julii, on the other hand, have a very weird um, path where they go... They'll take their initial settlement of Volsi, um, Volsini, sorry, and then they'll go Felis Felicina, Atavium, and then they'll gather like this every single time out of the three times I've seen them do it, or four times or so, they'll gather all their armies here and they'll head this way towards like Austria and, and Hungary. They won't go all the way in towards, you know, Budapest, Romania and Budapest and then into modern day Romania and stuff like that. No, they'll, they'll go to like this kind of area. completely foregoing the rest of Italy that they haven't conquered. Again, modern-day Italy, right? They'll completely forego the, the Alps and securing settlements within the Alps. They'll completely forego Gaul, which is kind of supposed to be the whole Julii thing. Although I guess you could also argue um, they are fighting Gauls just in a different place. Because they're all pretty much the same faction. At least they have the same um, units and stuff like that. Generous proposal. They are Celtic tribes and they have the same unit rosters, more or less. So I, I get that, but they have a like this weird obsession with just going here, like up to this sort of general area, roughly. It's just like a weird protrusion of their empire. It's just like it's just border gore, basically. They, they, they'll completely forego this, uh, the, the the southern part of parts over here. It's a very natural route to sort of expand through the mountains, and, and no, no, none of that. They'll just go straight that way, straight for the goulash. Um, <laughs> I mean, it sounds silly, but that's basically what they're doing. Um, not my fault, it sounds silly, right? Anywho, the army's ready. Can we move out immediately, or... Uh, oh, we might as well wait one more turn. Agent is ready, though. Now... Welcome, friend. Cancel. All of this. Oh, the indignity. Yeah, I know, right? The indignity. But it's not just the indignity, also the betrayal. Just, uh, just you wait for it, yeah? Orders. Yikes. Onward. Oh, Sparta was destroyed? Nah. Shame. Candidates for adoption, we're gonna skip out on pretty much all of those. Bye. Is there a faction up here, really? Or did they just land from somewhere in Spain? Because if there is, I'd be very much surprised if they put in a... Yeah, there is. There's like a faction up here. Not just rebels or Carthaginians, like a proper faction. Nice. Nice, genuinely didn't know that. 
Probably. I'm still going to stick around the general area of Carthage and blockade their port and be a nuisance. Kind of try and hinder their economy a little bit if I can. I feel like I've done more in the last 20 minutes than I've done in... in... Well, not the last few episodes, because I've definitely, like, what well, we've taken over all of Sicily and we've knocked the Carthaginians off of this part of the world. Um, did huge damage to them, etc., etc. Like, so, so no, no, but still, like, I feel I'm, like I'm going really quickly and I'm sort of becoming comfortable with, with recording this and with, uh, well, with my own empire management, I guess. Which just makes sense, you know, it just makes sense that you start off a bit slower and, and speed up as you go. I think they saw the, um, what, like, 4,000 strong Roman army land and they were like, nope, no, we don't want any part of this. Okay. I know for a fact there was a... Yeah, there, the, they all merged up. Yeah, looks like they are. Okay. Governor Regium is in place. You still haven't taken Taurus, which is somewhat concerning. Don't expands. Not much I can do about that. They think the AI is going to be really happy with me. Why are we making over 7,000? I realize I've made an, a whole new army. But we have low taxes everywhere. I don't dislike this. We're not doing a lot of construction, which I dislike. I, I usually like to keep things building everywhere, but... Yeah. Gotta have your cake and eat it, I suppose. I like low taxes because it, it facilitates growth. And... He's inflicted 48. And glory. Okay, that's acceptable. Few of those, few of those. Yeah, that's fine. And thus, Corallis is ours. Uh, again, I'm just going to knock out this shrine to Ball and put in a shrine to Saturn instead. Put those down, and next turn we're going to hand it off to the civilian authorities, quote-unquote. Uh, considering that this is a neutral faction up here, I'm gonna grab our commander and start putting some uh, watchtowers all over the place. And there we go. Oh, There's another town over here. I generally thought it was just Corallis. There's another one. Great. I mean, just speaks of the size of the bloody map, doesn't it? I love that. I, I understand completely, though, how people could be annoyed by the sheer number of settlements. Um, I really do. It, it can get a bit much, um, especially if you're managing, like, a huge empire or whatever. It can get a bit overwhelming. But I still kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know if I, like, I... I hope it makes sense to people that, that don't like the size of the, the, the map being like too ridiculously big like this. And not only the size of the map, it's the number of settlements and the number of sieges you have to sort of go through to establish an empire. But um, I really like it. I, 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 hope, I hope I'm just making sense that the scale of it really... I find really enjoyable. Um, a most generous proposal. Even though I understand why sometimes it can be a bit much, I still like it though. Okay, let's head towards Egypt. We've now made contact with uh, Irenica, right? Irenica. Irenica. I think. I, I apologize for all mispronunciations. I really do. It's, uh, yeah. Anyways, though, this is, uh, this is the map. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, oh completely forgot about this. Greetings. A most generous proposal. And off they go, the uh, Julii. Bringing 17 legions after the Let us now talk reasonably. goulash. Uh, you want a ceasefire. Unlucky for you, I do not. Not yet. I have more stuff to take from you. Um, whole of Sardinia, whole of Corsica. I'm not going to make landfall in, in Africa yet, I don't think. I'm going to focus on some other things. Maybe start a far off distant campaign somewhere else before I do, just so I can make a make the landing of uh, in Africa a bit more epic. With, you know, multiple legions, siege equipment, all those things. I think that would be really, really neat. Um, but, yeah. That's all for related date, more or less. 15,000 gold. I really, seriously doubt that we don't have anything else to construct. Greetings. Just out of curiosity, where's uh here it is. It's leeching Tara or oh, it's blockading Taurus. Yeah, let's keep it there. I had one more fleet somewhere. Okay. First of all, you get second of all. Um why don't we send this navy out to explore a little bit, see what's on the island. Yeah. Good, and then grab our army and besiege this place. Unfortunately, next turn, not quite yet, but yeah. Eventually, right? Want to manage construction. One more unit of town watch. Has the Saturn temple, and I'm pretty happy with where everything else is going. Alright, good. Next turn immediately, or do I want to build, or do I can't build anything, you want to uh, recruit something else? That's a good question, isn't it? A third legion already? Surely not, Juggernaut. Nah. I'm about to take Anna, I'm about to take Masana. Taurus can rot in hell for all I care. So... I don't know. Maybe? Now let's leave it be for now. We don't have to go super quickly. This isn't exactly a speed run, right? It's not going to be the longest Let's Play ever. But it's not necessarily going to have to be a speed run either. We can take our time. Sometimes it's kind of fun to let the AI catch up a bit, and I don't mean to, like, give them money and give them settlements or whatever, and no, just, just lay on the brakes a little bit, right? You've captured something, you've captured a territory or whatever, fortify it, have your armies rest for a couple of turns, you know, roleplay a little bit like that, uh, move some things around, move some governors around, etc, etc, wait to, like, regroup and whatever else you, you want to make up. Um... And then, when all that is done, you start fighting again and realize that, oh, uh, well, the AI actually has a number of things. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm about to conquer your lands, not go and... Oh, they built a fort, that's adorable. Um, unfortunately, it's utterly useless, but it's adorable that they even tried. Yeah. 26,000. What the hell is the AI doing? Like, are you building anything? I mean, you're just not building anything is, is what you're doing, right? If you're, if you're not going to build anything, I might as well... The, the, the spend policy is on maximum. I...
I don't know, man. Hmm. What's this? Ten percent. Public order or uh no, discount to training troops. Hmm. Interesting. Siege this. Move you closer to fighting these guys. Um Tara still hasn't been besieged. It's kinda of funny. Or still hasn't been breached. Um conquered. Kinda of funny. Greetings. Well, greetings to you too. Could you please build something this turn? It was like, you know. Ooh, would you be willing to... Noble master? Nah, no reason to do that, never mind. I was like, would you... I could bribe the settlement to speed things up a bit. Really, literally no reason to. Oh, there is a reason for the fort, though, which I really ought to mention now and then give a little bit more attention to. It's not very often the AI uses forts. They are very useful. Um, well, okay, they're not very useful. It's always more useful to go out on the attack and to, to you know, take enemy stuff. But if you want to roleplay, and if you don't want to conquer any more land in a particular direction ever or at least yet, then yeah, forts are amazing because you can build them at choke points and this map is really good with choke points because there's plenty of them everywhere. So yeah, it's it's really nice. Um, choke points, ports, great stuff. Can't recommend it enough. Um, make your own sort of a limes, if you know what that is. Um, if you know, you know, right? The, uh, effectively the border area or the administrative unit which pretty much deals with just securing the border uh, of the Roman Empire and yes Empire not uh, not Republic but you know a bit um, ana um, anachronical Chronistical. one of those words means out of time uh, but yes a, a bit out of time but Point still stands, I guess. 15,000 gold. Or denarii. At least we're building something. Uh, I mean, I, I guess. Uh, I feel like we could be spending more, but hey. Okay. This battle I'm going to need to play out manually because they managed to acquire a at least some amount of force. Um, so here's Aliba Sardinica. They have some amount of forces in there. These guys aren't that great with the, their own army, so they take out their army, they march it here, and they build the fort and, on the choke point between the enemy they're at war with and themselves. Unfortunately, there's another choke point right here, so the, the, the um, Carthaginians can just go around but the way around is longer and will probably take... Yeah, it might not be reachable within the same turn. Maybe it is though, but certainly if you take an army from here and right click here, it'll take the shorter route and it'll get blocked off by the fort. So, I mean, congratulations. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it and they just decided to build a random fort, but it doesn't look like it, to me at least. Okay, so that battle is going to be manual um, next turn. And this one as well, we need to fight the Mamertines. Ooh, there's going to be a delicious battle for the Equites and the General's Bodyguard because they have so many Peltists. Mind you, they have Italian cavalry of their own, but... and reinforcements. It's going to be a huge battle, but... Um, I think the combination of Prince Principe... Um, and Hastati against Italian Spearmen is just gonna roll over everything, and yeah, we can pretty much take Masana from there. 
once we're done, go to Enna, take that over, and eventually we'll see what happens with Taurus. It's a funny settlement at this point. Anyways, that's for the next episode. Because I have something to do right now. It's been exactly 36 minutes. I'm, uh, well, it's past due at this point, I think. Anywho, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and um, you know, perhaps even consider supporting me on stuff like Patreon. There is a link in the description for that too, or you can join the community Discord if you wish. Anyways, whatever you do to help support the channel running and bring you more videos, it's highly appreciated, by, by, but by no means feel compelled to do so. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.